Listen, to, in today's episode, I want to record a video to show government contractors that if you are winning contracts and you're getting task orders and tasks and all that other stuff, that you absolutely should be tracking your tasks inside of SharePoint. It's super low-hanging fruit, very easy to set up, but if you don't want to do it yourself, have someone on your team do it or reach out to me and I'll do it for you uh, for a fee, obviously. But this video should show you what's possible and then you decide whether or not you you know you want to take this uh, training to do it or you want to have me do it so let me just hop into this real quick should be a quick thing let's go so my screen here let me get me out of the picture um so okay this is the project site right that or a contract site, I should say. Let's say you want a contract, and it's called Contract ABC XYZ. We spun up a site for the whole contract. Uh, once you land here, you can see a picture of like you know, some people working on a project. You can see a section over here with announcements, a quick blurb right here. Welcome to the comprehensive IT support service project, blah, blah, blah. We want an IT support contract. Um, and then we have links to the deliverables, the personnel, the PWS orders, the tasks. Same thing on this side. PWS task orders, tasks, deliverables, and the personnel. Now, <clears throat> I'm just going to show you how this works and then make some comments as I go along. So first thing, if I want to view the PWS, the performance work statement, all I have to do is click on here and I open up OneNote. And it shows contract ABC XYZ. And here's the PWS description, deliver rules, all this other stuff. It's in OneNote. Anytime I, uh, you have a one, uh, a large text, a large set of text that you need to record, I always say use OneNote. It's great for formatting, super easy to share and collaborate on. It's beautiful. Uh, let's go back. So now we have task orders. Now, when you win a contract, you're going to have task orders. Let's say I won a contract, ABC, XYZ, and I got two contract, uh, two task orders. So this is the IT support services task order. Here's a description, the start date and end date, beginning of fiscal year, end of the fiscal year. And then um, the status, we're saying that it's open. This one is on hold. This is going to get us $2 million. This is going to get us 500000 Now, those are my task orders. But what if I want to see related tasks? I can go down here to tasks, and I can see all five of these tasks uh, belong to the uh, uh, IT support services task order. Here's the title of the task, start date, end date, the status of each task, the deliverables. I can view each one, and I can see who uh, the related personnel are. I'll get back to that. Here's the deliverables that I'm even talking about. So there's an incident tracking log. I made this as a list because I wanted to show you how there's a difference between if you made it a list or if you put it in a spreadsheet. The same thing with, uh, not the same thing, but we also have an IT policy and procedure document, IT training presentation, temperature check, um, weekly activity report. So um, all of these things have, you know, different situations. So like this thing gets delivered daily. This one gets delivered daily. This one is once per government fiscal year. This one gets delivered every six months. We don't have a deliverable schedule for that one. This one is every week and then a description of how to use it. So use this uh, uh, incident tracking log right here. We said that it's used to track all incidents for the new IT system. All help desk workers should be updating this daily, right? Then I can see what task is related to. So remember, we looked at these tasks right now. We're in deliverables. If I clicked here, I can see this is the task and there's the task order that it's related to. So here's the task start date, end date, whether or not it's open. Uh, I mean, the status, uh, what deliverables are due here, and who the personnel is that's going to work this thing. So, you know, all connected. You get to see that. And same one, same thing for this task and this task. Those are all the related tasks to these deliverables. So now if I click on personnel, when I look at personnel, I could see all the people that are going to be helping on this task and here is their credentials so you could be aws certified or cfa or jd whatever like we can tag them and say here are the things that they're good at and then 
we can put them on tasks. So right here, you can view and see what tasks they're working on. So who is this? Um, Michael Williams. He's working on this one, provide help desk support to end users, addressing um, IT issues and inquiries. So all the information for that is right here. But you can also see, again, the related task order, because what we're looking at is the actual task. And all these tasks, if you look right here, they have related task orders. So let's look at one in particular. Um, if we looked at, if we go to the task orders and we can see IT support services in the description, all that stuff. If we looked at tasks, we could see all of these are the tasks and we can see that this one is in progress and has start date, end date. If I wanted to see deliverables, I could click and see, well, what are the deliverables for this task? Oh, it's the IT training presentation and that's due every six months. And I could soup this up to say, all right, well, this is just a template. So go into this thing and start to use it uh, and then submit it to the, the you know, submit it to, to the right channels. I don't have that right now, but we can do something like that. <clears throat> now, if I go back to the tasks, I can see information on the person. So who's working this? Lisa Jackson. Let me see. Okay. Uh, Lisa, she has the SHRM and she's a registered nurse. That's why she's working this. Okay. Makes sense. Cool. Whatever. Um, yeah. So, so the point of me showing you this is that it can all just sit on one site. I know I go to a lot. Well, okay. Let me not say that. Let me not call anybody out, but <laughs> there are contractors out there who are winning these contracts and they feel overwhelmed because they, they just take a library. They just take one document library take all of the stuff that they get from the government and then just throw it all into one library. That's not how you want to use these libraries. That's not how you want to use SharePoint, the site. You want to, you know, make it make sense. So if you were able to take everyone who was working on that project and say, hey, just go to this site, go to the contract ABC XYZ site, guess what they can see? The PWS, the task orders, task deliverables, personnel, all in one spot. They can see any new announcements that's coming out. And you could put other buttons down here. I only duplicated what was over here just to just because I could show you what's possible. You can either have these buttons here or you can have them down the side. I suggest putting them down the side because everywhere you go in the site, you'll still see this navigation. But if I click uh, personnel off of this page, I'm not going to see like another page with buttons, but I will see here on the left all of my information that I want to navigate to. So again, I can get to the task orders. I can get to the tasks. I can get to the deliverables and the personnel all in one area. So somebody just came on board. I'm going to add a new personnel. It is me, Trotman Thurman. And I know that uh, I'm going to be on the perform network infrastructure assessment. And what do I have? Uh, let's just say I got this JD thing and I have a master's of business administration. <laughs> all lies. <laughs> so I hit save and I end up in here. You can see my information. Now, I don't like what order this is in. Let me uh, go A to Z on the last name. That's really how we should be looking at this. Then I'll save the view. Hit save. So right now, because this is basic out of the box stuff, this is manual. When you add a new person, you put them on a task and now I'm related to the task. So I can go here and look at this task and I'll see related personnel. I'm not in there. So I need to do that. Add myself. Boom. Hit enter. Now I'm in there. Now I can have this happen automatically, but right now I don't have it happening automatically. And that's fine. You don't need to do these things. You don't need to make a mountain a molehill. You know what I'm saying? If you have task orders and you have tasks and deliverables and personnel, blah, 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 add them in. Don't worry about automation and all that other stuff that you can't get right now. Because right now, um, uh, if you're already paying for the Microsoft 365 suite, just know that you have a tool that can do this thing right off top. So do that. Um, real quick, let's just spruce this up real quick. Um, sorry. I think that this should say exactly what's going on over here. So let's say announcements. And then let's put a little, uh, put a little uh, bullhorn here. I like to do that. All right. And then we republish. 
So now when you come to the page, you easily see, oh, these are announcements. That's what's going on over here, right? And I can view the announcement and I can be like, oh, okay, a little, little thing. Let me add this to my calendar. You know what I'm saying? I got, I got options like that. Anyway, that's all I wanted to show you. I wanted to show you what was possible. You can have a, um, uh, okay, sorry. <laughs> I don't know. I was trying to get back on camera, but whatever. Just listen to my voice. We got a message to put out here, which is you can take your Microsoft 365 suite, go into SharePoint and set this up. If you're interested in doing that, then I'll create a training that shows you exactly how to do what I did here. Um, that's normally what I try to do because to set aside time to make a training, it's a whole lot, you know what I mean? And I got, you know, clients that I got to take care of and stuff to do like that. But if the demand is there, then I will create it and I'll, you know, publish that for you. And then, um, if that is not of interest to you and you would rather just hire me to do it, then reach out. Everything that you need to reach out to me is going to be inside of the description box. Thank you very much for turn, uh, tuning in. Make sure you follow me on LinkedIn. That's my favorite place. I post there every day, twice a day even. Very useful information. Reach out to me on DM there if you want to um, connect. Or just leave a comment under this video. Thanks.